All right, I want to show how inconsistent these main bore sizes are. Now, I haven't cut the caps, and I haven't, um, I haven't, you know, honed anything yet. But uh, standard main bore diameter is two inch six forty one, uh, which is pretty much the same as small block shed. I mean, those are four point three. But um, the zero here represents, you know, six forty one, two inch six forty one. See that one's two. 2000's big, okay, green's big, yeah, wow, all right, so that's number one, let's go to number two, that one's 2000's too small, <laughs> uh, and there's a plus or minus factor here of 1000, so, to thereabouts, that one's about a thousand too small number four and the last one number five Oops. right on the money see i mean within a half that's that's fine so the thrust was out of this engine so we're, we're going to cut the caps and uh we're going to hone this and uh square it up here like i say we're also doing it because it's got a lip there from when the uh crank was getting shoved through the engine or attempting to get shoved through the engine see it so we'll uh we'll cut this baby and see where we're at okay i've got our main cap installed uh into our uh, crg 750 cap grinder and uh we're just going to take a couple thousandths off this guy and then we'll torque it back to the block and measure our goal is to try to get all the caps uh get all the uh, dimensions the same that way when we hone it we don't have inconsistent sizes and then we got to cut the caps again and of course the more we cut the caps the lower we move the crank center line of the block which the looser the timing chain can be so we got to be careful how we do this so we'll fire it up pretty all right we'll torque it up see what we got okay i've got my caps ground and i'm getting our um, honing mandrel set up to uh, line hone this so basically how this works uh this is a little bit simpler than than some applications because the depth well the depth of this all right the center line is the same distance on the block as it is the cap so we don't have to use a dial indicator to make sure that this honing mandrel is centered and true. So what we do in this case is we have these pins. So there's an adjustment key back here. I've got it backed all the way off, okay? And what you do, see how this rocks? I'm gonna turn this clockwise until this thing stops rocking. We don't rock it to sleep. And then we know at that point that the mandrel is pretty true in the bore, and then we can torque the caps. So right there is pretty good. See, so it won't rock. Very little. So next thing, we'll put the caps on, and we'll start honing. Okay, we're ready to start honing here. I already did one pass. We'll do a second pass. We've got the mandrel in. It's all adjusted. We'll lower the oil. Start on mag valve, lube her up. And here we go. pull the mandrel out and check our sizes all right we got our line hone all done let's uh she came out pretty nice the rear one all right let's see what we did here like i said we got a thousandths of leeway we'll set our dial board gauge in there 
Oh, that's awesome. Let's check for taper. Final bath. I, I honed it already, so the cylinders are good to go. Uh, just got to give it a final bath, and we'll put it together.